What's up, y'all? It's your girl Leah back with another video. I am your favorite North Carolina realtor. I am also licensed in Virginia, South Carolina, and Georgia. Today, we're going to be going over what happens to the property if someone dies in North Carolina. First and foremost, if any of you guys have just lost a loved one, and I am extremely sorry, and my condolences go out to you and your family. So, let's go ahead and get started with this video because I know a lot of you are probably looking for answers to this question. So, what happens to my loved one's property if you guys don't mind i am looking at my notes i don't want to stir away from it um so i can get this information out to you guys so that you can know so anyway what happens to my loved one's property it really just depends on the legal arrangements that were made from the person that passed away so really if they pass away with a will or if they pass away without a will it's gonna be like a huge factor in this because it can be the determining factor of the probate time frame pretty much if they die with a will then it's going to be able to tell the court kind of how they should proceed in the giving the assets to the people that they left in the will if they die without a will then they're going to have to go through the whole probate process and see who is the actual person that should have those assets given to them like i said it is dependent on what the person that passed away did with their legal arrangements will or the last will and testament property will still have to go through probate so please don't think because they left a will that it doesn't have to go through the probate uh, process it still will have to go through that it's basically when it goes to the process that's going to be able to tell the judge like okay so this person can have their name transferred on the deed but i'm going to go over the, the difference between probate and purported so probate is basically the process of any the asset by the court and then purported is basically the last is it's basically the process of determining if the will that was left behind is actually like legally binding and if that is the actual final will and testament that the person that passed away taken care of before they passed so if they pass away without a will like i said earlier they will still have to go through the probate process this is called interstate so basically the court is going to have to do the job of dividing the assets so it's going to be subject to the value and the type and then it's going to have to be disseminated down through the surviving spouses and or children that they have for those of you that have a survivor spouse or you know multiple children then here is the order of priority the typical order of priority so this is not set in stone but this is the typ typically how it goes so usually it will go from go to the parents and it will go to the siblings and the children the grandchildren the grandparents and then aunts uncles and if they are deceased then their descendants so please like I said earlier don't take those like don't take that order to to, like, to be set in stone because it could definitely be different depending on if they did pass away with a will or not so you know pretty much the that's why it's, it's a really tricky process and the court will have to make sure that they are doing their due diligence in order to make sure the assets are divided in the correct manner and sometimes it can take a little while for it to get started if you guys are going through this process and you need a real estate agent to help you guys out please don't hesitate to reach out to me ask me any questions that you have i have also created a free facebook group for you all so if you guys need documents or if you need more additional information if you need to ask questions you can either reach to me there i will leave it down below it is called selling my home in north carolina here's the name right here of the facebook group so if you guys need help then like i said go ahead and ask me a question in there or i will leave my contact information down below so that you guys can contact me directly i will leave my email address so that you guys can ask me any questions that you have at any time of day i will make sure that i answer you guys promptly you know and within an extremely timely manner so like i said don't hesitate to reach out to me and i will do whatever i can to help you guys out throughout this process I also want to state that this is not legal advice. This is just information that I know to be true. As a realtor in North Carolina, I want to make sure that you guys understand the probate process because, you know, I, unfortunately, our loved ones, they pass away. And sometimes there's properties that are left behind, you know, and we may not know how the process goes. We may be left in the dark when it comes to those things. So I'm here to support you guys. Like I said, if you guys need me at any time of the day, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and I will do whatever I can to help you. Like I said, if you have any questions, you can also leave a comment down below. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to your channel. I will be posting more videos very, very soon. Actually, I'm gonna be posting the video tomorrow. I post every single day. So if you guys need more videos to watch, then you will see them in my channel. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to your channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.